Good afternoon, FS Club. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the new mods for today. Today in new mods and updates, we got over 24 to go over. We got some new mods like the Lizard Protector 90, which is basically a Land Rover. We also got a new mod from FSG called Advanced Farm Manager. But before we get into any of that, make sure to smash that like button. Now roll that intro. Let's see those mods. Someday. Now, walking back. Okay, so here we go with the first mod we have for today. And the first one we have is the Lizard Protector 90. This is from AF Modding, 19.22 megabytes, 300 horsepower, manual transmission, 90 liters of fuel, 74 miles an hour, 1.6 tons. Total price is only $65,000. Now, this thing has some amazing options on this one. Roof, we got, let's see, we got windowed, we got no window. Uh, right hand drive, or you can have left hand drive, which I'm used to left hand. Uh, adventure kit, I think, wait, is that Advantage? I think it's Adventure, I don't know how to say that. Adventure kit, I guess. All right, we got default, we got front grill, we got steps, we got grill and steps, adventure kit, and default. Uh, lights, you got stock, LED lights, you got back to stock, let's put the LEDs on those. Uh, reflective Chevron, we got no decals, construction, Police, yeah, you see that right there. Uh, rescue, and then back to no decals. Let, let's do the uh, let, let's do the rescue one right now. Uh, beacons and light bar. You got standard. You got construction. You got the police one. You got rescue one. You've got construction two, police two, rescue two, and then back to standard. Let's go to rescue two. We'll set up. You got street mud. Let's put mud on that, and then of course you can change the main color to any color. Same thing with the parts. Hood color, rim color, and then license plate right there. So let's go ahead and, you know what? Let's actually change that over to the police one. There we go. Let's go ahead and get this real quick. So let's go right over to here. That is awesome right there. All right. Let's go ahead and get in it real quick. Let's see. Um, lights, one, two, three. Definitely some LED lights, as you should see right there. Oh, I put them on the wrong side of the car. Oh, well. Uh, let's see. Everything lights up back here. Turn signals. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and here is the interior. Definitely looks like a Land Rover, doesn't it? All right. Let's go ahead and bring this up real quick. Uh, let's see. Sir you can turn the siren on and off. What? Let's go ahead and click that on. Oh, geez. Okay. Uh, let's see, start engine, horn, and that's about it. Okay, let's turn that engine over. Nice sounding engine. Everything turns on in here. Everything lights up. Top speed is 74 miles an hour. Let's turn on that beacon bar. Oh, wow. Okay. You know what, let's actually do something real quick. I'm gonna go right over to here. I think I can change the time. Let me see, uh, time of day. Let's change it to say about 22, 23. There you go, look at that. <laughs> that looks so cool. Wow. Okay, right, so there's that one. Let me actually, uh, let's actually get a few more of these real quick. Let's go right over here. Let's get, um, where are we at? Let's get the rescue one. Put the rescue. And then let's get the construction one. All right. So there we go right there. This one should be the rescue one. So if we do this, does this one have a siren on it? Yes, it does. Same thing. Okay, also, what does this do? Let me see what this does. Um, oh, oh, okay. It actually folds up the seats. Wow. Okay. See, this one doesn't have the LEDs. Let's turn that over. Look at that. Let's go right over this one. Turn that one on. Wow, 
Okay, so here is the construction one. Does this one also have a siren? It does, but if you try to turn it on, it doesn't do nothing. All right, let's go ahead and turn the beacon on on this one. Wow. Oh yeah, let's actually turn all these beacons off. Right there. And right here. There we go. Uh, let's go back in time. Let's go to 11 again. Yeah, yeah. 12 months and zero days. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So there we go right there. Let me actually turn this thing off. One of these engines are on. Which one is it? Ah, there we go. Now it sounds like it's raining. I don't know why. Okay, got that to turn off. Okay, so here they are right here. I really like these. Uh, let's just go ahead and get in this one real quick. So this thing goes 74 miles an hour. And it picks up speed really fast, as you see. Pretty up almost 50 miles an hour right there. Okay, so that right there, guys, was the Lizard Protector 90. Let me know in the comment section below, guys, if you guys are going to be using this, which I'm pretty sure everybody is. Okay, these next ones are going to be running through pretty fast. The first one we have is the Class C450 C600 Hatters Pack. It includes the 450, the 510, and the 600. Range all the way from 4.5 meters all the way up to 6 meters. Uh, 6,650 all the way up to 11,500. Uh, you got the C450 C600 trailer with it. Let's see, any options on this? You got stickers old or you got new. And then let's see, on this one, you got the four header type C450 C510. Or you got the C600. So that right there is the Class C450 C600 headers pack. Then after that one, we have a pretty big mod right here. This is the John Deere 1720 16R30 2012 from JHHG Modding. Uh, this is a nice planter right here. Let's see. It uh, doesn't need no previous cultivating or plowing is necessary. So it has direct seeding or direct planting. 896 liters, 4.2 tons. It does require 210 horsepower, 12.2 working meters. Uh, let's see, 62,300. Options on this one, you got standard option, which for the tanks. You got liquid fertilizer set, a pesticide set, uh, tanks and liquid fertilizer set, tanks and pesticide set, dry fertilizer max emerge XP extension, which brings up to 1568. We got the pesticide set plus dry fertilizer max emerge XP extension. Uh, then you got the tanks, pesticide set plus dry fertilizer or max emerge XP extension. Wow. And then max emerge XP three bushels extension. Wow, this thing goes for a while. Jeez. Uh, Will Brand, you got John Deere, Lizard, John Deere, you got Commutal, Lizard, you got wide tires, lift assist wheels, lift assist wheels two. Uh, let's see, design, you got this zero kilogram front weight, 435, and back to zero. Cleaner disc configurations, no or standard, or in the no till row cleaners. Attaches, you got no plus trailer hitch. Wing support configuration, no or standard. Uh, design color, you either got John Deere or you got Lizard. And that is about it on this one. There's a lot of options on this one. Definitely going to be using this one right here. Next one we have on the list today is a new wind rower. This is the Uno Rack 112. This is from Nikos 321. 530 kilograms. It does require 45 horsepower, 4.3 working meters, 7 miles an hour as the operating speed is 2,500 uh, let's see, design, we got red gray, we got red yellow, red black, and then back to red gray. And of course, like I said, this is a wind rower. Okay, then after that one, we have the multi-trailer pack from Wolf X Modding, 2.42 megabytes. This is a pack of two multi-purpose trailers. You can use them to transport bales, pallets, and logs. So we have the single axle trailer, and then we have the tandem trailer. Uh, this one is 4.6 tons, this one is 9.3 tons. 8,000 for the single axle, 12,000 for the tandem. Uh, let's see, wheel brand, we got Trailborg, Michelin, Vertistein, Nokian, you got Standard, you got Standard 2, I think that's about it on those, let me go back over here, yep, Design, you got Standard Design, you got Front Extension, Front and Rear Extension, Round Bale Extension, Forestry Extension, then back to Standard, Main Color, you got any color, so if you want to have it as Sam's Purple, you can have it as Sam's Purple. You got extension color, you got rim color on that. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the same on these. It looks like it. Yes, it does. Okay, so that is the multi-trailer pack. 
Then the last regular mod we have for all platforms for today is the Welger DK115 from Bremi456. This is 5.57 megabytes. Uh, price is 11, actually $13,000. Holds 8,000 liters, 2.4 tons. You got configuration standard. You got it as a bale trailer, which brings the price down, uh, let's see, about 1,500. You got another bale trailer. You got bale trailer, then back to standard. Uh, let's see. Will brand, you got Trollborg. Continental, BKT, Trollboard, you got standard, wide tires. Uh, looks like standard on Continental, standard on BKT. Cover, you got yes or you got no. And then you can also change the cover color either from green or to yellow. And that is about it on that one. Let's get to those new placeables we got for today. Okay, so here we are with the placeables for today. The first one we have is the Bunker Silo Set from Mifu FS. These are a bunch of bunkers. There's tons of this, tons of these actually in that pack. But if we go over here, let's go right here. We have a drive through one right over here. We have this one right here, which ends right there. You got fences right over there. And then you have a smaller version right over here. So where can you find all of these? Let's go over here. Let's go under silos. Go all the way to right here. As you see, we got medium ones, uh, medium ones. Then you got, let's see. I think these are all the same sizes. Let me see this one. This one, yeah, these are about all the same sizes. And let's see these snap actually so there is the bunker silo set now the last new mod for all platforms for today we have is this one the used lifting platforms from mx11 we got this one right here which this one's a pretty nice one drive up on over here and there you go and you can sit there and customize it or you got this one right over here let's see if there's actually a uh, raise yep so there is a raise on that one I think this is just the lifting platform. I don't think this is like a workshop because I don't see no triggers anywhere. All right, so you got that one and that one. Let's go over here. You can find them under tools. Uh, the big one is 9,500. This one right here is 7,500. This one is 4,000. And then this one is 3,500. So that right there, guys, is all the new mods we have for all platforms for today. I'm definitely gonna have to say that protector is probably my favorite one for today. Okay, let's go over those updates, and then we got the PC only wants to go over. Okay, so here we go with the all platform updates for today. The first one we have is for Somerset Farms from Steve Mods. The change along in this one. Removed people walking in the sky. Removed rubbish laying around in field and pig yard. Added more gates. Removed shadows from map collision. Removed concrete pad on outside of map. Replaced silage bunker at the cow yard. Fixed pond area. You can now place your own sleep trigger. Uh, placed floating trees on ground, added base game production so no extra mods needed, and added base cell points. Pretty sure this is going to require a new save. Then the next update after that one we have is for the Mossy Ferguson 5400 series. Let's see, fixed passenger position on large frame models, added mouse controlled doors and windows with sounds, new sounds for turn lights, horn, and cabin rattle. Then we have an update to the John Deere 8R series from custom modding. What changed in this one? Fix the unfolding of flashers. Then we have an update for the Lizard 1105. What changed on this one? Canopy option added, paint error fixed, improved texture and modeling, and set puppet. Then we have an update for the MAAG pack from SMI Modding. What changed on this one? Added new model, the MAAG Kios. Okay, there's a lot of updates to go over, so this might actually take a minute. Then we have an update to the signal bar. What changed on this one? Added configurations. Then an update to homemade weight. What changed on this one? Fixed dimensions, fixed colors, speckler map improved, and normal map added. This next one is a big update. This is from a dub modding. This is the IBC and pallet stack. Let's see, but mod desk version increased, added square hay, square silage, square straw, round hay, round silage, round straw, round biomass, round cotton, square cotton, bakery box, boards box, butter, cake, canola, cereal, let's see, cheese, chocolate box, clothes, egg, fabrics, flower box, furniture box, grape juice box, Grape pallets, lettuce, honey, olive oil, raisin, sugar, sunflower, tomato, and wool pot. So that actually added a lot of stuff on that. Then we got an update to the old big buildings. What changed in this one? Improved textures, minor fixes, and specular mask at it. Then we have an update to the diesel productions pack. What changed in this one? Factory to trailer discharge rate increased from 45 liters per second to 450 liters per second. Added lighting for dump area. Diesel label aligned to factory and all trigger markers placed on the ground. Then the last update we have for today for all platforms is a small dairy. What changed in this one? Improved textures and added occluder mesh. 
So that right there, guys, is everything for all platforms. Let's go over the PC only ones. Okay, welcome to the PC only mods for today. The first one we have is the Zactra U3 point scale, and this is from Hoffy. It is 1.13 megabytes. All right, so this is a three point scale. As you see right up there, there's actually a scale on this. So this is pretty cool right there. Okay, but anyways, it is 2,300. It does, let's see, it says operating speed is 31 miles an hour. Uh, let's see, main color, you have pretty much, well, most of your basic colors, green, blue, gray, uh, no Sam's purple. That's very disappointing. Okay, but anyways, there is the scale. Let's go over the next two ones. Okay, now the next new mod for PC for today is a big one. This is the Advanced Farm Manager from FSG Modding. Advanced Farm Manager is a toggable GUI that will allow you to quickly manage your vehicles, implements, fields, and placeables. So you can jump into, park, sell, clean, repair, repaint, and refuel uh, interval vehicles. Warp, you can, uh, let's see, prices for sale, repair, and repaint is the same as any placeable shop. Pricing for cleaning is based on how dirty the vehicle or implement is. Uh, you can set hotkeys, set nicknames, set vehicle switching. So there is a lot of stuff on this. Let's take a look at some of the screenshots real quick. As you see, it comes with its own like little tab thing right there. Oh man, this looks this looks pretty good right here. Okay, so that right there is the advanced farm manager. Then the last new mod we have for PC only for today is the slip destroys fields. So it says right here, in reality, when the tires of a vehicle spin on the field or on the grass, the ground starts to rip up. With this mod, this can now also be simulated in virtual agriculture. So that, for example, grassland must be reseeded with the weeder, which has a seeder. After harvesting or care must be taken to use the right tires and wet conditions. So that's pretty cool right there. But anyways, guys, that is all of the new mods for PC only. I think we did get a few updates, so let's go over those updates real quick. The first update we have for today for PC only is the volunteer fire department. What changed in this one? Texture change. That is it on that one. And then the last update we have for PC only for today is for the simple inspector. What changed in this one? Bug fix. Fill level for seeds, fertilizer, salt, and herbicides should always be inverted colors. And also added support already for the advanced farm manager, which we were just talking about just a minute ago. That was the new mods for today. Not bad for a Tuesday. I really like that protector. But anyways, though, today's schedule, guys, after this video, I'll try to get out of FS Daily News. If I don't, I will have it out tomorrow. But tonight, live streams are back at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. What map should we do tonight? Should we do the Iowa map? Should we do the Stone Valley? Let me know in the comment section below. But anyways, guys, like always, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to smash that like button. Also, if you're new, to hit that sub button and ring that bell. We're getting closer and closer to that 75,000 mark. Well, I'll see you guys tonight. Peace. Stumping out of bed, and I still got you in my head. From all those pretty words you said, it's like I'm wasted. Every time I see your face, I'm losing track of time and space. I don't know where I am. It's like I'm wasted, and I won't waste it. And I promise that I.